Devin Haney gets a reprieve on May 22nd if Ryan Garcia does the following or the following happens to Ryan Garcia. Such a big prize, which (laughs) I am quite sure Devin Haney land will be excited about. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and you know what is more important than anything in boxing. More important than championships, more important than money, more important than anything that you can name. It's whether or not you're in Ring Magazine's pound for pound top 10 list. Now, you know I'm being sarcastic. However, people do, for some strange reason, put a lot of weight on it, and Devin Haney, got tossed out of it when he got beat by Ryan Garcia. But an announcement has been made and the decision will be made on May 22nd. And this will also, I'm sure, have uh, reverberate, will reverberate throughout the boxing world with a um, automatic rebuilding of the perception of Devin Haney as a fighter in the eyes of fight fans. Now, before I get into this very sarcastic video, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I have a long standing gripe with Ring Magazine. Long-standing gripe with Ring Magazine. Not to say that Ring Magazine is not valuable, because I think that it is. Not to say that they don't come up with very solid news, that they don't come up with very solid articles or solid points of view. They do. However, my issue with Ring Magazine is that it doesn't act like it is exactly what the title says. Ring Magazine. Also, when they talk about Ring Magazine champions, I have an issue with that. Because Ring can't have champions. You're a magazine. You're not putting on any fights. Just like, you know, I guess we could have a parking lot champion if, you know, everybody in the neighborhood decides, hey, let's put five teams together. Let's put uh, teams together and have like a little, you know, informal tournament at a at a at, at the at the local park. And we can say, hey, we're the summer park champions. But no, we couldn't, because that would actually mean that you have to organize and put fights on. So, no, Ring Magazine has an award the Ring Magazine Championship Award. But not to say that it is not worth anything because, hey, you get to say that you have a championship. You get to tell people uh, that this is you have been recognized by somebody as one of the best and it has value. So when Devin Haney gets beat by Ryan Garcia, Ryan Devin Haney no longer has that particular accolade, which is being listed as one of the top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world by Ring Magazine. Well, Ring Magazine has has now said that they will reconsider putting Devin Haney back in those rankings if on May 22nd, Devin um, Ryan Garcia's B sample comes back positive. And that would make him that that would say, OK, we now know that Ryan Garcia cheated, even though that's not the whole story, but still going to be good enough for Ring magazine. And it's their magazine. So got to respect it. They said that they're going to put Devin Haney back in there. I have to tell you, I don't like that. And the reason why I don't like that is that there are a lot of fighters that fight people that cheated and the way that Ryan, that Devin Haney got beat by Ryan Garcia, I, it very well may have been, you know, added to by the fact that he had that in the system. However, if you listen to what people said about Ryan Garcia, the fighter before that fight, nobody respected Ryan Garcia as a fighter going into that fight. Very few people gave him any respect as a fighter heading into that fight. So, yeah, 
if you pop dirty and you cheat, okay, yeah, you cheated. However, what does that say about a guy that is supposed to be an A plus level fighter? Because if you're going to be in a top 10 pound for pound uh, conversation, you're supposed to be an A plus fighter. And then you lose to a C level fighter in the words of Devin Haney. What does that say in the word? Yeah. In the words of Devin Haney, what does that say about your skill set? What does that say about your skill set? Are you really that top level of a fighter? Now, give me give you an example of what I mean. There's a a fighter, Antonio Margarito, who fought in the I think that was in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, uh, definitely in the early 2000s. And he fought a guy I was a big fan of named Paul Williams at 147 pounds. And Paul Williams beat Antonio Margarito. As I watched the fight, though, I noticed that everything that Antonio Margarito landed really started hurting Paul Williams. But Paul Williams came out with the win, came out with the win. Now, does that mean that and that was the first time Paul Williams lost? Paul Williams was still able to beat Antonio Margarito despite his cheating. Now, to the counterpoint, Miguel Cotto was not able to despite the fact that Antonio Margarito, because Antonio Mar Margarito loaded his gloves. Well, what level does that say those guys are? It's just an interesting conversation because there, I'm sure there are, and there must be because of the number of people that use performance enhancements, that there are people that fight and beat guys that are juicing on a regular basis. And those, but if you have a A plus level fighter, they should be able to beat a C level fighter almost regardless of what they do almost regardless of what they do. Other short of taking a bat out and, you know, hitting them upside the head in the, in the ring. Antonio Margarito, people respected An Antonio Margarito as a fighter before he went into the ring with, with um, Miguel Cotto. They respected Antonio Margarito as a fighter before he went into the ring with, with uh, Paul Williams. But that wasn't the case with Ryan Garcia. So for me, it seems kind of interesting that you would be returned to something even though you lost to somebody that you really should have beat regardless if what you thought about Ryan Garcia and what you said about Ryan Garcia was true. Now, uh, Devin obviously did not lose his title. That WBC title is still there. He's been ordered to fight Sandor Martin. So, you know, as far as everything that really matters in the world, it really matters. Uh, Devin Haney still has him, regardless of what happens on May 22nd or doesn't happen on May 22nd. And then also, if May 22nd, say the B sample comes up clean, does that really absolve Ryan Garcia from the suspicion that people have about him popping? Probably not. And if he pops dirty and he goes into uh, present his case to the New York State Athletic Commission. This, the New York State Athletic Commission lets him off. Is that going to mean you're going to take Devin back off because he didn't get suspended? See, that's my whole problem with people taking Ring Magazine's listings and all of this stuff too seriously because we're living in the world of opinion, of which this channel is firmly in the middle of, obviously. But if you're looking at just the objective things that take place, um, Devin Haney is still a champion, so that's what matters. He's still the WBC champion. He will be fighting to defend for his WBC championship, but he also got beat by Ryan Garcia, and people are not going to forget about that. So, you know, what is what really is the truth of the matter? But anyway, that's my take. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.